Uh, you know what I mean? Um, the biggest threat they told us after they were like, yo, we want $300,000. They said, we're going to go to the press. We're going to BuzzFeed News. BuzzFeed actually reached out to us. They folded up. I don't think they ran the story. So that's like a non-existent. Like, that case is just in limbo. Again, two years. And this is how slowly the justice and even court system work. By the way, I want to mention academics is never, have not been, is not in threat of any criminal liability with any situation. By the way, tax stone, as you sit in jail, you're, you're doing 400 months, okay? I just want to remind you, I, I seen, I listened to a video of you earlier, you were wishing to have a cellmate. My brother will look around and pick it, pick the cutest nigga who's in the canteen. It's not going to be me, be me, my buddy. Um, I know you're trying to liken your case to otherwise, and it sounds crazy when you're talking extremely tough from a jail cell. It just doesn't hit no more. This is the most attention I'll give you. So I try to give you a little bit of grace, but I could tell you're very disgruntled with where you are. That has nothing to do with me, my coverage, or anything else. My brother, the facts of the situation, let me tell you this. I talk spicy. You have talked spicy. I don't care if you say you're tough and I'm not tough. You showed up to a damn event where motherfuckers didn't invite you to be at. You showed up, and there was a nigga who was contracted or was invited to perform. You brought a weapon inside a venue. You're not supposed to have a weapon up in New York City, my brother. Okay? Now, if you're talking all that shit, and let me tell you how stuff goes. You you get security, and you know where the fuck not to go. If you think you could be buddy-buddy with people talking crazy, of course you're going to get into incidents. And when you think you can't take an L, of course you're going to shoot somebody and kill them and then go to jail. Stop trying to mix every case with yours. Brother, you're on spaces stuck in like some proverbial gulag. I'm sorry. Like you started the real nigga podcast, but you are you are now in real nigga purgatory. And that's essentially 400, 400 months. OK, I'm just sorry to tell you that, brother. So I don't care how much you talk about. It, I don't know. I don't care how aggressive you talk over the over the, the iPhone or the what. It doesn't matter. OK, so I just want to let you know that. And I'm only letting you know that because you said I don't talk about myself, which I'm doing now. So I got no problem with you. So you can keep ranting and raving. I know I got 400 months of you doing that. And listen, I guess that's a long time. They gave you KD. That's 35 years. It's okay. But I just want to prove you wrong because I do talk about myself. I won't talk about myself every day. And also, I won't talk about myself to the detriment of a potential civil case. That's the issue. And that's the difference between me and you. Tax Stone said he wished that I could be his bunkie. Tax, let me tell you this. The situation that you were even referring to, which I'm going to get to, the police, the, the detectives, they've seen every evidence. I cooperated. I didn't run to L.A. like how you did when you killed somebody. I cooperated. I gave over everything. Phones. I gave over 10 phones. Everything. Take it. There's nothing to hide. There's nothing nefarious. Look through everything. I sent my security guy. Go. All my security shit is encrypted. Go decrypt it that they don't have to waste time. Go get it. They look through everything. Wait, so 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 for, for everybody on, on Twitter, you're talking about a case that got filed three months ago. So it's three months old. No, actually not three months. It was filed in um Yeah, it's three months old. Yeah, it was filed in in, in, in May. It was filed in May. So it's three months old. The I, I urged everybody, and, and this is another thing to Mr. Taxstone, as you sit there with the stupid look on your face. Brother, be mad that you fumbled the bag. You know Charlemagne offered me me to be the first person on uh, under his network because before it was tax season. I wasn't ready for a podcast. He got you. But you was the bozo with the red nose who crashed out against all the rappers but did it in a way that you thought was gangster. But look where it landed you. It landed me at the top of the media list. Where are you at? That's all I want to say to you, brother. So as you sit there and you waste, as I said, I guess I got 399 months of this bullshit. But I get it. I've urged, and I include you in that, you should go look up the case because I am not above anything. I can't discuss it because I'm paying lawyers. It, it would hurt me to make commentary specifically about my situation. It just would. But I urge everybody to. It's free and it's open. Go look it up. This is how a criminal, it's not a criminal complaint. This is a civil complaint. There's no jail implications. Ain't nobody going to go to jail. There is, again, the, the police have spoken. This is the only thing that you should care about. If you care about the, any details, again, you're now going to have to be an arbiter. You're going to be a judge. And, I, and, and I'm cool with the public being a, the judge of public. Uh, I'm open to, the, 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 to people being the, the, in the court of public opinion. Public facing figure. And, and really, 
I think I'm done with the tax stone, nigga. Like, like I just hear this guy just like a, just hot air. I'm trying to listen to him say he's making a point. He's talking tough. I hear niggas walking past the cell. I hear niggas dangling keys. I'm like, oh my god, like, bruv. Like, I get it. I think the homie's mad because I covered his case and because I gave Troy Ave like a hundred k deal. I'm sorry, my brother. I had nothing against you, okay? And I guess you want me to, like, identify with you because you're like, well, act, you talk shit just like me. Maybe you got to kill a nigga when they run up at you. Tax, I'm not sneaking into, like, when I, when I go to see Party Next Door, I'm not bringing a weapon. If, if, if I see, I don't know, whoever, I might have to kill him. I'm not going to five entrances try to sneak in hoping I have a weapon under my shirt. I got to kill a nigga. That's not me. I go to see Party Next Door. First of all, I'm not going if Party doesn't say academics. It's Friday. I want to hang out with you after my show. So part of me even going there is me saying Party invited me. So if something surprises me there that I don't know, I don't like, I'm looking at him to say, what's up with you? He invites me. I want, listen, I'm, he said, I want to hang out with you. Okay, so I show up. Who do I show up with? Even then I show up with security because I don't want to be in there like, oh yeah, I'm just, that's not, I'm sorry. Maybe you weren't getting paid by whoever you assigned to, but I'm getting paid lovely. I'm not really, really scrapping with you niggas out in public either. So, so, so let's kill that too. So I'm showing up with security. I'm showing up when the artist himself, I don't do labels or this enter. I might show up if somebody invite me. I, I'll be in the suite that's detached, but I'm not trying to go backstage. I don't do industry mixy shit. Just give me, a, like, it could be the suite over there with the randoms. I'm cool. Um, I still have my security. Nigga, you was in the green room at motherfucking whatever, whatever, with a gun under your shirt because you knew there could be niggas you don't like sitting there. Did T.I. tell you to come there and be there? I don't know. But that's for you to deal with, and you have 400 months to deal with it. Nigga, I, I know you're wishing and hoping, but I'm sorry. Tough luck. You see a nigga like, like, a nigga like Tax Tone was, was one of the next stuff. And I see you try to get off that at Flacco. Boy, stop it. You had a lot of potential, but Flacco gonna outlast you because Flacco's smart. The smart nigga is not locked up for 35. That's not the smart guy. <laughs> that ain't the smart guy. Never at all. The smart guy didn't, didn't trick himself out the spot. <laughs> That's not the smart guy. I want to make that abundantly clear. <laughs> so... You know, I, I was, you know, I thought I, I had a decent relationship. Yo, yo, tax, didn't somebody sneak a phone through their ass? Crack? You called me one time when you were in trial, nigga. Like, you, you, you communicate me. And I had, I get it. Like, sometimes y'all be thinking that it, nobody's playing teams like that. Nobody cares like that, you know? And I had no ill will towards you because I thought, like, you know, when you came in the game, I thought it was important. I really did. I honestly did because everybody wanted me to be the blogger. That could be the tough guy, but I wasn't a tough guy. And then you came in as a natural tough guy and a blogger. And I was like, all right, well, y'all fuck with tax. And I've always said that. Like, I love when the tough guys come in because I'm like, all right, fuck with them. Because act could only give you act. Um, We never really kind of crossed paths. I like how you stood up to Meat Mill. I love that. But then you got locked up and you're so bitter. It's like you're blaming everybody else. Why academics keep, keep, keep speaking on everybody's case but himself? Brother, I just spoke on my situation. It's not a criminal case. And here's the difference, my nigga. Again, there's probably culpability if you want to say, yo, act. Well, you know what? You know, I've learned that. No invite niggas to your house. No more niggas to my house. Yeah, that's the new rule. No niggas to my house. Uh, 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 listen, nobody around me in certain shit. No, no. You know, like as soon as people say certain shit, I'm saying, I'm going to catch y'all niggas later. Trust me, you got, you got to learn in every situation. The one thing I haven't ever heard Tax say, and Tax, why you sitting in that dark cell with niggas walking back and forth and you shouting at the Puerto Rican nigga down there saying you going to put hands on him. This is the exact reason why where you are. But also, just address this fact. Have you came to the realization and acknowledgement? Because trust me, I've had to pay a lot of money to lawyers, which I could have been blowing on anything else. But this is a situation that I have to uh, um, defend because now people want to take what I've earned, right? So I get it. It's okay. You can't, you, you can't be mad at it. So it is what it is. Obviously, the best thing is there is no jail implications. Cool. All right. But people think you got it. They want it. What I've never heard you acknowledge is that you killed a man that night. That you brought a gun 
in a in a New York City nightclub where you know guns ain't. Look, they're frying K Flock. You brought a gun in there. You went from exit to exit trying to figure out a way. You antagonized the man for months. And when he saw you and he punched you, you couldn't take the L. I don't think he was going to shoot you, but you shot his bodyguard. That's the only reason why you landed where you landed. Yeah, Troy Ivan wasn't a great person. They was talking shit, doing all type of bullshit. But acknowledge what you've done, my brother. And I think that's where we will all get to. And I ended it with that because um, you're welcome to speak about my situation as much as you want. But for, for me, I've acknowledged. Like, when I go back and think about that, that night, man, oh, man. First thing I think about, act this. By the way, did not tell you I haven't been on vacation two two years, because I like any time I try to have fun and I lower my guard and I have to put my faith in other people. I'd rather be drunk at the crib by myself and I'm like I know I'm a, I'm a know I'm good. I still know I'm good. I go out and I and even if I got security and I got people around me and I'm like yo hey I'm this is my night. Let me get drunk. Y'all be whatever. Just make sure I'm good. If they slap a nigga, if they hit a nigga, that nigga's going to sue me. Yo, act people did this to me. So, like, what I've learned is, like, you know, and this is why I just keep working this a lot. I'm just like, all right, you know what, man? It's a lot of liability, bro. You got to learn how to not have too much shit around you, bro. Just, just chill out, bro. Just chill out, man. And trust me, I've learned a lot in that situation, 100%. Like, you my nigga, you, you don't keep paying lawyers. You don't keep having to revisit a situation. You know you know you did nothing wrong without you learning some lessons. Trust and believe. It's just so many goddamn lessons. Like, before I ever close my eyes, everybody get out of my house. Everybody, please. Everybody's leaving. Hey, hey I'm drunk. I don't care even if I'm drunk. Everybody, everybody get the fuck out of my house. Everybody got to go. Everybody got to go. Everybody. I know I, I, I usually just buy everybody think it's cool, whatever. No, no, everybody got to go. Cause when I'm sleeping, I can't I can't monitor any other situations. I can't monitor you who thought you was gonna hang with me, but now you hang. No, nah, I can't monitor that. So I've learned a lot. I want to just know what you've learned. Cause you've been in that jail cell for a couple of months now, and it seemed like you just keep like pointing every finger. Well, if Troy didn't do that, if Troy didn't really say this, me yo, I, he said some dumb shit. Yo, me and Troy we had an agreement. Like every time we saw each other, we were just kind of like you know whatever, whatever. But it was never physical. What? <laughs> You think me and yo, I talked to little baby's boss. You think me and little baby have an agreement? Fuck no. <laughs> Until me and that man get on a conversation, hell nah. You know what I mean? So like, and you know, it's been situations where shit. I I told I told y'all this whole situation where it's like, shit. I'm in Vegas. Savage is out there. I'm about to hang with Savage. That's my man's. Savage keeps it a bean with me. He say yo, act. I'm gonna keep it a hundred with you. Metro won't be here. Man, I don't even want this to be nothing. I know y'all niggas ain't really on the same page. Bro, maybe you shouldn't even come, bro. You know what I could have said? Man, fuck that nigga, bro. Nigga, I'm, I'm there, nigga. I'm there, nigga. I got the blick on me, nigga. I'm there, nigga. Whatever gonna happen? No. He's an artist that gonna perform at some shit? Bro, I'm just trying to have fun for the night. I don't give a fuck if I go there or go somewhere else. I just have some catch up with you later. It's all good. I ain't tripping. Fine. You hang out with... Right, it's cool. I'm not bulldozing my way nowhere. That's the problem. This is why y'all niggas keep with this dumb shit. Oh, act don't be outside. Yeah, I don't want to have to kill niggas like how Tax Tone did. Because <laughs> I wouldn't do nothing like that. Just let, just to be clear. <laughs> All right? Anyway, that's just how it is. And yeah, bro, no harm, no foul. You get what I mean? So I'll end that, I'll end that situation. I think I've um, done a decent job of addressing it. I probably maybe even said a little bit too much. when I don't want to talk about the case, really. But we could move on to some some um, other stuff. But for the people, and really, I only went into that. Bro, I know I have so many people. Like, you, you know, like, this Twitter shit don't affect me. You know what I mean? Like, like I know y'all be looking like, damn, who could we send this to to get him canceled? Who are you going to send it to? We're still going to have, like, 15,000 people on here watching. We're still going to, like, be having a good time. These labels still going to need me. I'm, I'm, I'm... <clears throat> I ain't even gonna lie to you. Recently, I think my agent came to me like, hey, Sirius is trying to get a deal. I was like, fuck the deal. You know why? Because this is reality. I could have made more money without, comp uh, well, both, without Complex and Spotify than I made with Spotify. Right now, I want to be independent. Because just like for fuck shit like this, everybody mad on, on, on Twitter, but they got nobody to send it to. How could we, who, who are we canceling them with? Who y'all sending it to? 
Send it to your grandma, your mama, nobody. Because I'm going to get on here, still do my entertainment, still do what I got to do, still do make what I got to make, and we're going to just keep it going. So, you know, um, you know, that's one of the reasons even now I'm like, I, I told my I told my Lord, man, ah, I'm good. I'm, I'm, let, let's be independent for a bit. <laughs> let's be independent for a bit. Let's be independent because all these niggas, they're wait, Yo, you know they've been waving like, yo. Something, yo, remember when Complex has suspended me for, for like the Chrissy Teigen shit? Because Chrissy a bitch. She's a bitch. It is what it is, my nigga. I couldn't say it when I was on Complex. This is why I'm saying I'm making the most money I've ever made right now. Being motherfucking independent. That I know my, my, my lawyer, my agent, they came to me. They said, hey, listen, this is a $4 million play. And I ain't gonna lie to you. When your lawyer, agent come to you and say that $4 million, whoo, I do like money. But then I start thinking, I said, well, if I just stream independently and I do this, this, and that, I, I do this side deal with these people, they don't give a fuck. I do this side deal. I'm actually going to make about five and a half. I just got to wait for it. Y'all going to give me, y'all going to front me the money with the four. Ah, I'm just going to be independent. What's the benefits? Here's the pros and the cons. The cons is you're going to have to wait that time to get the whole money. And you're going to have to work for it. So in the days you're lazy, you don't want to stream and you don't want to, do A, B, and C, you gotta do it. But here's the here's the pros. When you see motherfuckers on Twitter saying, Oh, we got him, cancel him. I keep telling people you can't cancel what you never helped build. So if you never gave me a view a day in your life, if you never supported me, you were never in, involved in building what we got here. How the fuck, who are you gonna tell to cancel me? So yeah, I digress. All right. I think we did good there. Um we're going to get on to the other topics. Uh, you know, and, and by the way, I, I did that just with some transparency. Because, I, you know, when I'll see a hater say something, and, and then maybe somebody who does fuck with me, they don't know what to say. They'll be like, oh, I talk about all the people who don't talk about himself. All right, cool. I spent a whole hour, the first hour of the stream, talking exactly about what, what all these niggas is talking about. Okay? If you have any other questions, I'm encouraging you. Go pull up the docs and follow it for the next few months, maybe years. This is going to take... This case is going to take maybe years. You get what I'm saying? It is what it is. Like, this is a civil case. They want money. I didn't give them money. It, that it, But I told y'all why I didn't give them money. We're now going to be in a fight for money. We're fighting for cash. <laughs> That's what it is. There's nothing more. You're fighting for cash. <laughs> That's it. We're fighting for cash. All right. All right, all right, all right. Okay. Now, uh, I, I will say this. As we spin out of this, 